It's become the talk of the town whether or not to abolish the current ward voting system and to replace it with an at large voting system, essentially allowing residents to vote for anyone, whether they live in the area or not. But folks in the community definitely have an opinion. We're trying to do what's best for the community. It happened in the blink of an eye with no discussion. In Wrightsville, folks are making their feelings known. What I made very clear to people at the last meeting was that we do have other options. There's a whole lot to running a town besides people getting upset about trying to control the voting districts. After the borough council voted Monday to move forward with considering a proposal that would create a single voting district, it would eliminate the current system which voters choose two candidates in each ward, but not all of the council is seen eye to eye. The concern for most residents is that if we were to abolish the wards, that there's a possibility that all of the um, all of the representatives on council could live in one part of town um, and then we wouldn't know what's going on on the other side of town. In the last election, Republican Councilman Eric White lost to a Democrat but was later appointed in the same ward but in a different seat after another councilman resigned and he says essentially things need to change. Our wards are unbalanced. So uh, that brings you with a choice of either, you know, reapportioning the wards or dissolving the ward. I do believe we would go down to one polling place, um, which is another concern from residents that during especially presidential election years, we might have long lines. It should be up to the residents, the taxpayers. Mel McDonald is a lifelong resident in the area, and she says her and her friends want things to stay the same. The the council people were put on there by the taxpayers to do a job for them, not for themselves. And looking ahead at what's to come, a final vote will take place on September 9th to determine the fate of voting in Riceville.